With the whole WannaCry outbreak, I've been so caught up with some technical details that I haven't really addressed basic questions which the majority of users are asking. So in this video, we're going to go over some really important things that are relevant to everyday users and discuss what you need to do to prepare for such attacks in the future. So the first question surrounding a lot of misconception is, what do I do if I'm infected? The answer is going to sound a little harsh, and the bitter truth is that there's really nothing you can do but accept that you didn't pay enough attention to security and learn from that going forward. I know a lot of people are very desperate and businesses with poor ethics are going to exploit that to some extent and tell you things like they can recover your files even though no one really can. And based on the reports that I've been hearing, people who have paid the cyber criminals haven't gotten any decryption key. So you're just not getting that data back. It's better to face up to it. As bad as it may seem, it's only going to get worse when you throw more and more money on a problem that is almost certainly unfixable. The second question, which again is surrounded by misconception, is that how does this ransomware spread? I'm not double clicking on anything funny, so I'm safe, right? Actually, no. Contrary to popular belief, you don't necessarily need to double click something for it to infect your computer. There are multiple ways of propagation, and in this case, the ransomware is spread via an exploit, which uses a vulnerability to infiltrate your system. So just being connected to the internet is enough if you don't have the patch released by Microsoft in March. That's right, if you have a computer that's turned on, that's connected to the internet, and that's not patched, it is vulnerable and it can be infected. That's all you have to do. No need to open any email attachments, no need to double click anything. You will be infected regardless. So that brings us to the last and most important question. What can you do to protect yourself? Well, the first and most important thing is having an up-to-date system. Due to the large number of organizations being infected, including the NHS, Microsoft has released a patch for Windows XP and other obsolete operating systems as well. So regardless of what OS you're running, just update it, make sure it's patched, and that way you won't get infected via the exploit. You can still get infected if you double click something or the ransomware is spread via other means, but at least your computer isn't going to auto infect once it's on the internet. But wait, the attack's over, right? Somebody found a kill switch in the ransomware code and they managed to take it down. Well, as for that, as I've repeated multiple times, that is only a temporary fix. We have already seen new variants of this ransomware without the kill switch, which cannot be stopped, and they're just waiting to go viral. That hasn't happened yet, but it may happen any time as we speak. So make sure your systems are patched, your backups are ready, so that we don't have a repeat of this incident. The next wave may be coming, but hopefully this time you'll be prepared. I hope that answers everything. If I still missed something, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully this is the last video I'll have to make about this threat. Please share this video because a lot of people are running around with crazy misconceptions, which is only going to make their day worse. This is Leah from the PC Security Channel. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.